now we will be preparing hydrophilic ointment, which is used to uh, retain moisture and protect dry, irritated skin with an occlusive effect just like a bandage. The ointment helps retain moisture on the surface of the skin. The first step to creating hydrophilic ointment is to add our emulsifier, stereal alcohol, along with our white petrolatum in their necessary amounts into a 100 ml beaker on a hot plate. So we add the stereal alcohol first so it covers the bottom of the beaker which allows it to melt and then using a spatula we'll scoop out the necessary amount of the white petrolatum. And be sure that the uh, petrolatum does try to mix or touch the stereal alcohol. That way they both will melt simultaneously um, on the hot plate. As this is melting, we will use a glass rod to stir the mixture together. So now we will be adding our parabens, methyl and propyl paraben, which are our preservatives, as well as sodium lauryl sulfate, our surfactant, polyethylene glycol, which is our humectant, and our diluent of water. So first, we'll add our preservatives in their necessary measured out amounts, methyl and propyl par paraben, our sodium lauryl sulfate, our surfactant, our polyethylene glycol, and our water or diluent. Now we'll mix our uh, second beaker of our water mixture until everything has dissolved and we get a uniform solution. This mixture includes, as stated before, our preservatives, emulsifiers, surfactants, and our diluent. So our mixture is becoming more uniform. It is cloudy, but everything has been mixed. So now that we have a uniform mixture with our water solution and our wax solution, we'll be adding beaker number two, our water, to our wax. And now you have to stir it slowly until it has a thick but smooth consistency. And simultaneously, the ointment will start to cool and form a consistency equivalent to heavy cream. Now that we've reached a very cloudy, thick solution, equivalent to heavy cream, we can now transfer the hydrophilic ointment to our jar. Very coming out. So now our ointment is a milky color. It's thick and it is ready to cool down and use for um, and be used. And this is how your hydrophilic ointment should look. It should have the consistency of heavy cream. It should not be pouring out of the jar and it should be spreadable. Be sure to label your hydrophilic ointment properly and place in the correct amber jar and 
make sure that you tell your patient that it is only to be used for two weeks maximum and after the expiration date it should be discarded. And this is how you make hydrophilic ointment.